Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Uma Shankar. In this session, we are going to focus on the callback integration. Let's understand the requirement. When you submit an ESS job to trigger the BIP report, you need a way to obtain the output files once the ESS job completes, right? You want to know how to get these files to an FTP location or to receive them via email and how we can implement this solution in Oracle integration cloud. Okay, let's understand the functionality. When you submit an ESS job, basically we can submit the ESS job from the OIC integration, right? So once you submit the ESS job, when the ESS job completes, it dumps the files into UCM as a zip, right? Now you are going to register a callback integration to receive and get these files to downstream application. That means either you can process into the FTP server location or you can send this file to customer through email notification. Now we are going to see the integration approach in order to create a callback integration. Okay. In the first step, we are going to create a schedule integration. This integration uses Oracle ERP adapter capabilities to invoke the ESS job using export bulk data operation. Right. Basically, we are submitting the ESS job with the required parameters. Right. Then the second step, we are going to create a app drain orchestration. Okay, in this uh, integration, we are using Oracle ERP adapter capabilities and receive the callback using the ERP integration outbound business event. Okay, so in this uh, practical session, we are going to create a two integration in order to build the callback integration. Let's connect to the voice application. We can see the process. So this is our Fusion SaaS application. I have created one ESS job for the demonstration purpose. Okay. Before uh, tracking this, uh, this job, uh, we need to note down a couple of parameters, right? These are the important parameters, your job name. Okay. This is my job short name and the location of the job, right? So this is the job name and the path. Okay. You have to note down the path and also you have to mention your parameter list. We are running this uh, ESS job for the Dell computers. And also we can enable the job option, enable event equal to why we are enabling the business event after completion of the ESS job. And also we are giving the notification equal to three zero. Okay. So three indicate for uh, email and bell notification. So zero for, uh, zero for to send any kind of data. Okay. By using this parameter, we can create a schedule integration. Okay. Let's log into the OIC. So in order to uh, start this integration, you need, you need a ERP connection. I already created a connection for this. Okay. Click on design integration, click on create. So we are going to create a schedule integration. Let me give the name USR, USR ESS job. Okay. Submit. Okay. Click on create. Now we are going to call the Oracle ERP adapter, right? So this is the connection which already created. Let me select this connection. Okay. So I'm going to select ESS job submit. Okay. Continue. What would you like to do with this Oracle ERP adapter? So you can select for the first option, query, create, update and delete any information, right? So click on continue, right? So you can browse by services. Let me select the integration service, ERP integration service. And then you have to select the operation. So our operation is export bulk data. Okay. Click continue. Click finish. Okay. Let me save it. Make it horizontal. Okay. 
So in order to submit this job, we need a parameters, right? These parameters are already with us. So let me open the mapping. Okay. So job name we have to pass your job path in and your job short name, right? You can copy here. Okay. Job name, I'm going to create a target node. Okay. Okay. Parameter list, create target node. So I'm running this uh, integration for the Dell computers. Okay. So my ES job, ES job will trigger the uh, BAP report. The report uh, is created based on the supplier parameter. So I am passing the uh, parameter as Dell computers. Okay. And also you can select the job options, right? Create target node. Okay. In the job option, we can pass the enable, enable event equal to, well, just copy it. Okay. Okay. Validate. Okay. Notification code. Create target node. Sorry, uh, we have to re uh, delete the target node. Okay. So notification code, just you can pass the value. Okay. 30, right? Okay. Validate. Save. Okay. Let me enable the business identifier. Okay. Save it. Okay. Let me go back. Okay. Uh, let me activate the integration. Open, activate the integration with the debug mode. Okay. So our schedule integration is ready. Now we are going to create uh, app drone integration in order to receive the business event raised from the Oracle ERP cloud. Right. So let me uh, create uh, one more integration. It's a app drone integration. USR, ESS job event okay click on continue create okay now you are going to select your connection oracle erp adapter connection let me select it okay receive event okay give the name click on continue Okay, here you can see define your purpose of this trigger, right? So we are expecting uh, receive business event raised in Oracle ERP cloud. You can select this one. Okay, once you selected, you have to opt for the uh, business event for subscription, right? So I am going to select the ERP integration outbound event. Okay, this is the one ERP integration outbound event. Select this one continue and finish so the trigger point of this uh, integration is business event okay now i am going to call the erp adapter again oracle erp adapter okay just to mention invoke erp invoke erp document id okay just mention it okay continue select first option query create update or delete information okay click on continue you can select by services you can select with the integration service, ERP integration service. 
So now we have to select the operation. Get document for document ID. Okay, this is the operation we are going to choose. Click and continue. Finish. Okay, let me open the mapper. Okay, expand the ERP export bulk data event. You can map the document ID. Okay, validate. Okay. So based on the document ID, we are going to get the response from the Oracle ERP adapter connection, right? So from the response, I want to zip the complete files, right? So let's take a stage activity. You can take the stage fail operation. So I can write zip file stage, okay? So I am going to use the write file operation. So I, I can mention the file name supplier data. Okay. Your file name is generated with the zip file. Right. We can send this file for any SFTP location. Specify the output output file directory. You can give your virtual uh, location. This is the stage uh, virtual location. Okay, I'm going to give temp. Okay, let me continue. Okay, so we need to use the opaque schema you need in order to convert it to zip file. Okay, to do that, let me select the XML schema document. Okay, click on continue. Now I'm going to attach the opaque schema file here. So I'm going to attach the uh, opaque schema. Okay. Our element is opaque schema element. Click on continue. Click on finish. Save. Now we can do the mapping here. Open the mapping. Edit. So from expand the invoke ERP document response. Okay. You can use the content for the mapping map the content to opaque element okay validate so now so once we once we uh, write the file in zip then uh, we what we can do we can say we can send this file to any sftp location or we can send to the email notification all right so already our file is exist in the our virtual uh, file location so what I'm going to do, I'm going to send the response of this uh, stage file through the email notification. So let me take a notification. Take the notification to let me give my name, my email ID. So from also I'm giving the same email ID for testing purpose. ERP output response. You can mention the subject name here. Okay. Body just mention high team. Please find the ESS job output. Regards OAC team. Okay. In the attachment, 
just you have to capture the response of the write file right okay this is the file zip write response okay open the ics file okay you can put in a developer mode okay you can use this file reference as a attachment okay save it okay let me enable the business event take document as a business event save it okay our integration is ready let me activate the integration so let me keep in a debug debug mode only okay both integrations are activated okay so the first job is to submit the ess job okay and second job to receive the business event okay so the moment uh, you submit this uh, ess job automatically this second integration is getting triggered you will you will get a e email notification with the attachment right this is the schedule integration the second one is the app din orchestration right so let me this integration once you run this this integration trigger automatically okay okay let me run the integration okay okay just run let's wait let me refresh it okay so the job is completed for demonstration purpose i submitted ess job two times okay let me monitor uh, integration status go to the observability integrations all right so we submitted this integration two times automatically receive event integration submitted two times that that, that means we got the two two messages from the uh, oracle saas application and also we are expecting the email notification right with the zip file okay so let me uh, go back to email okay uh, most of the time sometimes uh, here you can see uh, go to the spam okay this is the email notification okay erp output response and also you can see the attachment you can download the attachment also right you can see the log file and xml file report output file okay so this is the way how we can uh, create a callback integration from the oic uh, integration okay so based on the uh, this scenario uh, we can implement uh, uh, in our projects accordingly okay if you like this video please uh, subscribe and share